Oh hi. Vyborg. The city in Russia, the administrative center of Vyborgsky Municipal District of the Leningrad region. Forms the Vyborg city settlement. Isari, city of Vyborg. Is the only settlement in its structure. The city is located on the bank of the Vyborg Gulf, which is in a northeast part of the Gulf of Finland. It is the large economic, industrial and cultural center of the Leningrad region, port on Baltic, important not highway and the railroads. Vyborg founded in the Middle Ages since 2010 is the only historical settlement in the territory of the Leningrad region. Among sites, Vyborg Castle, Alvara Alta Library, Minrepos Park. In total in Vyborg more than 300 various monuments are concentrated. Architectural, historical, sculptural, archaeological, landscape gardening art. Since March 2010, the city of military glory. The Bank of Russia released three commemorative coins devoted to Vyborg minus three rubles of 2003 of the Window to Europe series, 10 rubles of 2010 of the Ancient Cities of Russia series of and 10 rubles of 2014 of the Cities of Military Glory series. The data on the basis of Vyborg Gostomissile provided by 5. N. Tatish Chevin retelling of the Iokomovsky Chronicles say that the Slavic name, choice, was the first name of the city, however these data admit historians only as a legend. Some validity to these reasonings, on the one hand, is given by the fact of existence of Finnish Irvini option of a toponym in the form of Vipuri at the heart of which there is no final, G characteristic of German speaking options and it allows to build the Finnish version of the name to hypothetical Slavic the choice. On the other hand, existence in the Danish kingdom of the Tezomeni city of Vyborg. In translation from Old Norwegian. The sacred fortress. Gives certain, purely German, the linguistic precedent allowing to call into question possible Slavic background of a toponym. Financially confirmable history of Vyborg goes not further presumably Karelian settlement on the Castle Island, but his name wasn't recorded by historical sources. The Scandinavian name Vyborg was the first name under which the city is mentioned in Chronicles and Vyborg. So the Swedish Knights called the New Lock founded in 1293 on the place of the destroyed Karelian Ostrog. The expanded settlement then changed the name till 1917 when the Vyborg province as a part of the Grand Duchy Finnish separated from Russia. Then the Finnish Irvini form of a name of the city became official. In 1940 with transition of the city to structure of the Asser an official form of the name became Russian again, Vyborg. However, the main city newspaper of this time was called the Vyperski Bolshevik. In her publications, the city was called as Vipuri and the area Vyperski. And from 1941 to 1944, the city was under jurisdiction of Finland again and, respectively, wore the Finnish uniform of the name Vipuri. In 1944, Vyborg again, now it is final, passes to the Esser, however, any decrees on renaming, as well as earlier, it isn't published. Thus, in the 1940th years, the same city had two forms of the name, some sources called his Vyborg, others Vipuri. In 1948, during total renaming of settlements on the Karelian Isthmus, the Russian form of the name of the city is officially approved. 
Viborg for all the valid history wasn't renamed, and only changed a language form of a name. For what reasons at the end of the 13th century for the lock this name was chosen and that it meant, the Swedish chronicles are held back. Various options of writing of a word Viborg in the Swedish and German languages. Viborg, Vikborg, Vidberg, Viborg can be translated as the sacred fortress, fortress at the gulf, the place at fortress, and fortress in the region where breed the cattle. However, in connection with the first mention of the name Viborg in the letter of the Swedish King Berger Magnusson to Erat City Council of Lübeck, 1295, where it is told about construction of the lock for the sake of God and the blessed maiden, the sacred fortress value is represented to the most obvious. This version, it is rather trivial treating the name of the city, finds confirmation in the fact that within resettlement of Scandinavians the name Viborg meets quite often, for example, this name is still borne by the city in Denmark and also a number of villages in Sweden. Mike Grant Not remained Iokomovsky Chronicle known only in 5. N. Tatishchev's retelling narrates about construction of the city at the sea by the Novgorod elder Gostomysl. He allegedly called the city in honor of the eldest son by the name of Chose. Liudai Tui Terpiake Tuga Evelika from the Varangian, having sent to Buraview, the Isprasitia Atom of the Sun Gostomysl and reigns in Valitsa a hail. And against an aid Gostomysl a pre de power, a be Varangians and overbushi to a log hut, overven isn, and a tribute the Varangian to an otrecha and on, win, and a hail in a name at exhaust the son of the chose post swarms, make with Varangians the world, and silence on all earth. Satishchev commenting on the text, I assumed that the analytic choice in his Viborg. Relying on these data, it would be possible to speak about foundation of the city in the 9th century, however this legend, as well as Gostomysl's existence, isn't confirmed by other sources. Jacob reached Enfels in the Legends to the Lightest Duke Tuscan Cosma III about Muscovia, reports that, in 685 the Berger, the King of Sweden, built Viborg, strong strengthening mines Rus, and took away from them Karelia with a part of Finland. Venea called by Finns, that is kind of the country of Wiend. However, in 685 the Danish King ever corrected Sweden broad embraces, and Berger Berger Magnusson. 1290-1319 Who, by the way, based to Landskron in 1300 was the only Swedish king by the name of Nevertheless the history of the settlement near future city begins 1293, basis time Swedes of Viborg Castle much earlier. At the beginning of the first millennium sources narrated about residents in this district of the tribe of the Karelian ancestors modern the Karelian are approached independently and together with Novorodians I did business Hanseatic and Gotland merchants and an important role in this trade was played by the Western. Nowadays disappeared. Mouth of the Uzerva River. Vlaxa through which it was possible to get to internal regions of the Karelian Isthmus and to Lake Ladoga. The authentic data on existence of any Karelian settlement near future city don't exist, the certificate of it can be considered the legends remaining in Viborg till the 16th century, saying that else to foundation of Viborg castle on castle. During the time of The island and also another neighboring island of Tverdish, earlier Linasari, Fortress the Lock, the island. This certain settlement, Old Viborg, preceding him existed. Moreover, such official name till 1944 was carried by the urban area of Pekiruki. 
nowadays a northern part of the Vyborg settlement. Exactly there the first excavation of the Finnish archaeologists which was continued subsequently by the Soviet scientists began. Neither those nor others bore fruits. However, in the 1988 years, on the basis of the made finds, the head of excavation 5, A. Kulinov could draw a conclusion on existence in the 11, 12 centuries of the Karelian Ostrushka shelter in which warehouses of goods and few guards, on the most castle island were located. Need of economic providing this complex gives up to archaeologists hope for detection of the ancient settlement somewhere near an Ostrushka. Probably on the island of Tverdish. Karelian it was successfully located on that place from where it was possible to keep under control a trade way from the Gulf of Finland to the water system of Vaksa and further to Lake Ladoga. Not only Karelians, but also the Novgorod merchants used protection of his walls what archaeological finds testify to. The convenience of the castle island was estimated also by the Swedish conquerors. In 1293 they took by force and destroyed, having found it on his place stone fortress. In 1293 during one of crusades to the earth inhabited by Karelians according to the decision of the region Swedish king Torgels Kunsen the powerful lock which received the name Vyborg is founded on the castle island. It became a reliable outpost of distribution of the Swedish influence on lands of the Karelian Isthmus, remaining unapproachable till 1710. The Novgorod Republic didn't wish to be reconciled with loss of the Karelian lands, and in 1294 the team of Veliki Novgorod besieged Vyborg, but his Novgorodians couldn't take. Also the military campaign of the Minding Swedes in 1322 was unsuccessful. In 1323, under the Orokovetsky Peace Treaty of Novgorod and Sweden, the border between them was established down the river to the sister, and a part of the Karelian Isthmus together with Vyborg departed to Sweden. In 1403, fortified city of Vyborg were balanced in the status of the city with the city of Uppsala, the spiritual capital of the Swedish kingdom. The Swedish king Erik Pomeranski granted him equal city privileges, including trade. That his residents of Vyborg had the priority right of purchase of goods at trade caravans. Thanks to which the city quickly turned into large shopping center. The city was often visited by the German merchants from the cities of the Hanseatic Trade Union. It was the Santa Lina which was operated by the Swedish deputy and the people, most influential in the country, were sometimes appointed to this position. Emphasis was placed on strengthening of military and political power of the Vyborg Earth and commercial relations with Novgorod and Tallinn. From 1442 to 1448 in Vyborg Karl Kunzenbund, the fan of magnificent festivals governed. Atom Vyborg Castle began to be considered as one of the most beautiful, new towers and rooms were attached, nightly halls and ceremonial rooms are updated. In the 1470th years at the deputy Eric Axelson told all city which expanded on the peninsula was enclosed with a stone fortification with nine towers and two bastions, the earth shaft and a ditch filled with water. On November 30, 1495, during a siege of Vyborg Castle, the event which was fixed in the Swedish and Finnish historiography as the Vyborg Thunder. Er, the Vyborg Roar. Took place the Russian troops. Most likely, it was blasting one of surf towers besieged, accidentally unusual natural phenomenon. It frightened besieging and led to their retreat. 
In 1525, Viborg became vassal possession of the Count von Jura, the son-in-law of the King Gustav of the Vase. Item to the city, wealthy immigrants from Lübeck, Hamburg, Bremen and other Hanseatic cities rushed. In life of citizens, the German customs began to prevail, temples, institutions of education opened. In the second half of the 16th century to the old city attached a new part, Horn Fortress. The Shaft Gornwerk. Which considerable part remained up to now. Then the urban area doubled. 16 backslash the 18th century were especially sated with the Russian-Swedish wars where the part of the main base of the Swedish troops was assigned to Vyborg. In 1556 he was besieged by the Russian troops which, without having taken the city, achieved the favorable peace treaty. In 1592 in field battle near Vyborg the Swedish troops were broken, however sieges didn't follow. In 1609 in the city several agreements between envoys of the Tsar Vasily Chusky and the Swedish government on military aid and fight against falls that right to work included violation of conditions of these agreements from the Russian side led later to the Russian-Swedish War 1610-1617. These agreements became history under the name of the Viborg Contract. In the 17th century the city which is densely built up with mainly wooden constructions with narrow streets was repeatedly devastated by the fires. So in 1627 and 1628 the city burned out almost completely. On the instructions of the Swedish government in 1639 the engineer A. Torstensen developed the new city local plan with a rectangular grid of streets which the next devastating fire of 1652 helped to carry up. During Northern War Viborg was the outdated rear fortress of Sweden on the Karelian Isthmus and after falling of Nootberg. Nutlet. And ancients in Ingria became unexpectedly advanced base from which Swedes could threaten just founded street. Petersburg. In 1706, Piet I made the first attempt to take the Swedish fortress and besieged Vyborg, however, is ineffectual. Only in 1710 the city was taken by the Russian troops and the fleet, and under the Nishtatsky Peace Treaty of 1721 officially became a part of the Russian Empire. The plan of Vyborg with suburbs of 1802 from the Atlas of the Finnish province with counties and the cities and plans to all public structures of 1803. Concerning capture of Vyborg in 1710 Pieta wrote, Ithaca through capture of this city of street. Petersburg, the final Bazopasana is received. For protection of the new capital of Vyborg, it was included in the structure of the Russian state, having become the center of the commandant's district. In 1719, the Vyborg and Kekskomsky districts were united in the Vyborg province of the street. Petersburg province which officially was a part of the Russian Empire under the Nishtatsky Peace Treaty in 1721, and in 1744 the certain Vyborg province was created. To residents of the new province allowed to keep the Swedish laws. In particular, it meant that the serfdom didn't extend to residents of the province. Also it was authorized to them to keep Lutheran belief. Capture of the city by the Russian troops caused demographic splash, first of all due to inflow of the Russian military and trade people. There were ethnically Russian suburbs. The Vyborgen Street. Petersburg Vorstadt. Now the Petrovsky settlement and the anonymous area limited to street station, railway, Onega and Leningradskoy highway, respectively.
Gradually the lock lost the military value in need of building of new strengthenings from the west ripened. In 1731 the project of the Major General Coulon was approved, and by 1742 bastions were built. Construction continued also in the 1,750th years under supervision of the General Field Marshal Munnock, later A.P. Hannibal. The new strengthenings which perfectly remained till our time in honor of Anna Yonovna received the name Anankran. Street Anne's Crown. We repeatedly tried to return Vaborg, and during the Russians we did war in the summer of 1790 in the water area of the Vyborg Gulf there is the largest sea battle between the Russian squadron under command of the Admiral Chekhov and the Swedish squadron under command of the King Gustav III which ended with defeat of Swedes. Vyborg wasn't involved in the Russian-Swedish War of 1808-1809 directly anymore, and was used only as rear base. Its war was ended by the conclusion of the Friedrichskamsky Peace Treaty under the terms of which already all Finland was a part of the Russian Empire as the Grand Duchy. The Vyborg province was transformed to the Vyborg Nemesnichesto again. The city continued to expand. New areas, the Pavlovsk settlement. Nowadays, the Vyborg settlement with Pansar Lodi. Area of Sadovaya Street. The Papule began to be built up. In 1802, the Vyborg province became Finnish, and in 1811 received the former name, but already as a part of the Grand Duchy Finnish. Further, till the most 20th century, the history of Vyborg has almost no important events. In them there is the Russian garrison, trade and the industry develop. After the Decemberist uprising in Street, Petersburg several hundreds of its participants, generally lower ranks became prisoners of Vyborg Castle. The image of the city changed. In 1861 the master plan of building of Vyborg was approved, and on the place of the demolished strengthenings of the stone city and horned fortress new streets were laid and parks were broken. The set of stone buildings on projects of the famous architects in which banks, institutions, offices of joint stock companies are placed is built. In the 1868 years on the project of the engineer fortificatory. One. Tuttleben for protection of the city from the east on the natural height. Now the cold battery mountain. Built the East Viborg strengthenings. The second half of 19, the beginning of the 20th century are noted in the history of Viborg as time of dynamic economic development. In 1856 Seymour Canal, and in the 1870th, the Railroad Street. Petersburg Helsingfors opened. In the city gasification begins. 1860. Electrification and installation of telephones. 1882. Water is laid on. 1893 and in 1912 streetcar service was open. Economic rise of the 19th century considerably increased the population of Vyborg. The city became the second in population and to economic development in the Grand Duchy Finnish. By 1910 in the city there were 50,000 inhabitants from whom 81% Finns, 10% Swedes, 6.5% Russians, 0.7% Germans, 1.1% the others. In the city there were many industrial enterprises, since 1888 the labor union which had separate section for the Russian workers worked.
the proximity to the capital of the Russian Empire and belonging to rather liberal Grand Duchy attracted political opponents of the imperial power to Vyborg. On July 10, 1906, after dissolution by the Emperor Nicholas II of the State Duma of the First Convocation, 180 of her deputies gathered in Vyborg and made the address to the people from national representatives, in which called for civil disobedience to the imperial authorities. This address became history as the Vyborg Appeal. In 1917 Vyborg actively participated in the February Revolution, in the city the Vyborg Council of Soldiers and Working Deputies in which Bolsheviks had a great influence was elected. Shortly before the October Revolution at the Vyborg Worker Yukolataki 5.1, Lenin disappeared. Critical events in the fate of the city after declaration of independence fall on the first half of 1918. In January 1918 in Finland civil war began and Vyborg became one of the main centers of Red Finns. On April 29, when Red groups were everywhere broken, the last Vyborg then more than 3,000 Finnish Red Guards, the Russian officers and soldiers and also civilians died in slaughter fell. After the defeat of Red Revolution in Vyborg, as well as in Finland in general, the long period of instability was replaced by tranquility. On July 17, 1919 in the country the Republican Board was announced. With the Asa the strong border forced to stop cultural and transport ties of the city. Steady inflow of the Finnishni population and promoting of Finnish and culture led to the fact that the number of Russian, German and Shvetskoizhni citizens in a proportional ratio strongly decreased. In Vyborg process of withering of that atmosphere of cosmopolitanism which was characteristic of him earlier began. Finnish became official language of local government now. In independent Finland, Vyborg kept the position of the second city of the country and the center of cultural and public life of East Finland. Here branches of all large Finnish parties functioned. Social Democratic, Agrarian Union, various parties of nationalist character and other. This city was one of the most important shopping and transport centers of the country worked hard educational, cultural, sports, public health institutions, a large number of temples and consulates worked. In 1920, the 1930th years the structure of the city included new areas. Pangasranta Hika Tamisu in 1929 the architect Otto Merman developed the town planning plan of Big Vyborg which main ideas were implemented up to the 1970th years. In Vyborg many important public buildings in style of functionalism were built. Art Museum and School 1930 District Archive 1933 New City Library, 1935 Building of Trade and Sea School, 1938 By 1930 years the center of business life of the city moved from the region of Lenotis, the territory of the former Vyborg Castle, to the areas of Salakalakti and Rapola is closer to the railway station. On the singing field, singing festivals were held. In the 1930th years, Vyborg reckoned with the adjacent territory as the center of the industry of Finland. In 1938-38, industrial enterprises of various industries worked in the city. 
the population of Viborg by 1939 made 74403 persons. According to some information about people, till 1940 it was the second largest city of Finland. The peace period ended in 1939 when the soviet Finnish war began. In February 1940, after break of the line of Mannerheim, the Red Army closely approached Vyborg's key strength and district. Since 1935, and de facto from the 1925th. The Lieutenant General Harald Equist ordered troops of the Vyborg Akraprain. About him Finn said, On the Karelian Isthmus he knows each streamlet, each stone. On March 2 the Soviet 7th Army began offensive at Vyborg. The round from the west was carried out, and the main storm was conducted from the northeast direction. My March 13 during frontal storm of a part of the 7th Army promoted to the downtown, however by the time of the end of fighting the Soviet troops managed to seize only the area to the east of the Battery Mountain. The center of Viborg remained in hands of the Finnish Army. According to conditions of the Moscow Peace Treaty, the most part of the Vyborg province of Finland, including Vyborg and all Karelian Isthmus and also some other territories, departed to the Usser. On March 13, in the second half of day, the Lieutenant General Ekvist reviewed the last troops in the courtyard of Vyborg Castle, and from St. Olaf's Tower, with observance of all military ceremonies, the Finnish flag was lowered. The Finnish parts left the ghost town in the morning on March 14. The Finnish population of the city was completely evacuated to Finland. On March 31, 1940 the law of the Usser on transfer of the most part of the territories received from Finland to structure of the Karelian Finnish Sir was adopted. As a part of this republic on July 9, 1940 Vyborg was defined by the center of the Vyborg. Vypersky District On a special campaign the city began to become populated by the Soviet immigrants, and the number of persons interested already less than in a month exceeded opportunities. Actively there was a recovery of the industry at the destroyed enterprises, cultural institutions, educations opened again. But summer of 1941 war came to Vyborg again. On August 29 under the pressure of the coming 4th Army case of Finland of a part of Raqqa left the city, having receded to Leningrad, having mined a large number of buildings radio fugaces of Bemi. However only units managed to blow up from them, a big part was cleared of mines by the Finnish sappers. The Finnish population came back to the city, restoration of municipal economy began. In particular, the construction of the building of Koreala Insurance Company begun before war was completed. From 1941 to 1944 in Vyborg, one of the largest Finnish concentration camps, prisoner of war camp No. 6 was equipped. Borders of Camp No. 6 stretched from the place of crossing of present streets island and battalion. Opposite to shopping center Caruso. And to the coast of the Gulf Sonolokti, the territory adjacent to the northern settlement. Camp No. 6 had several subcamps. The largest of them, Tainkara, settled down in the territory of the modern Kalinin residential district of Vyborg, near the railway suburban station. After in 1944 the Finnish army receded from the Karelian Isthmus, the Finnish citizens were evacuated to the internal regions of Finland again. 
on June 20, 1944 parts of the Soviet 21st Army of the Leningrad Front which were ordered by the Marshal Governor entered Vyborg. Soviet period 1944-1991 World War II brought to the city huge damage. The industrial enterprises, more than 500 houses, cultural and educational and medical institutions were destroyed and burned, put out of action of the enterprise of municipal economy, huge damages are caused to the railway junction. Nevertheless, in the summer of 1944, intensive restoration of the city began. Vyborg was carried by the government resolution to 15 cities which were subject to restoration first of all. 3 billion rubles were allocated for works on restoration. And by 1948, war consequences were generally liquidated. Thousands of immigrants from the republics of the USA gather in Vyborg. The city becomes the large industrial center. In 1944, the city with other territories of the Karelian Isthmus is transferred from the Karelian Finnish so to structure of the Leningrad region of Rusfors. Houses of the Soviet period of construction on the southeast outskirts of Vyborg. In 1947, the new local plan of the city providing restoration of old buildings and construction new on the place destroyed in war, mainly in the historic center of the city was developed. In the fall of 1948 on the Karelian Isthmus there took place Massachusetts renamings. All streets in the districts of Vyborg received new Russian names, most often without any historical justifications. All that could remind of the international past of the city was excluded. In the late 40s, the beginning of the 1950th years, the new enterprises opened. The shipbuilding plant, 1948, which further became leading enterprise of the city, the electroinstrument plant, 1947. The plant of citric acid, 1948. The instrument making plant, 1953. The population of the city increased from 35,000 people in 1950 to 51,000 in the 1957th. Restoration of some architectural monuments began. Vyborg Castle, Clock Tower, Town Hall Tower. In 1960, the Museum of Local Lore opened. By 1968 years, housing construction extended to the area to the east of the Battery Mountain, which is earlier built up with mainly low houses, which considerable part was destroyed during war. Building went according to standard projects of residential and public buildings. The city gained the Soviet shape peculiar to the majority of new areas in the cities of the Usser. The structure of transport changes. The tram closed in 1957 is succeeded by the bus, and locomotives in 1969 are forced out by electric trains. Before the main engine of the Vyborg economy, Seymour Canal, began again work only in 1968. By 1970 the population of Vyborg reached 65,000 people that still was below pre-war level. From 1970 years in the city active archaeological excavations began, bigger attention was paid to preservation and restoration of old fund. In 1982 in Vyborg the Leningrad Regional Drama Theatre and Dolls, the Sacred Fortress, is founded, numerous musical ensembles, associations of artists, other creative associations are created. In 1988, the decision of the government of Rusfors on the organization of Memorial Estate, Manrepos Park, is made. 
in the summer of the same year in the city the sculptural symposium which result was an emergence of sada of a sculpture was carried out. Since the end of the 1958 years there is a consecutive increase in number of the tourists coming to Viborg including foreign from the Republic Finland. The period of the Russian Federation Since 1991 Perestroika time marks a new era for the city, the border with Finland opened, border trade became a new source of income for inhabitants. In the 1990s a considerable part of the city enterprises stopped because of bankruptcy, however at the same time many new enterprises and foreign investments opened. Liborg develops as the tourist center. The number of the tourists who visited the city grows from 400,000 in 1994 up to 600,000 in 1996. Objects of the corresponding infrastructure open. Several tens of travel companies, hotels, or a lot of points of public catering. In August 1993 in Viborg there took place the celebrations devoted to the 700th anniversary of foundation of the city. Then there took place the first film festival, Window to Europe. In 1999 the Viborg Library Alvara Alta was included by UNESCO in the 100 Monuments of World Culture Needing Special Attention in 2000 list. In 1996, the population of the city reached officially recorded maximum minus people. In the city, more than 40 religious faiths opened the representations. To Viborg, the rank of the intersection of national and spiritual cultures begins to return again. Communications with the cities of Finland, Norway, Sweden, China develop. In the 1990s in a historical part of the city it is built up and used several buildings destroyed during war. At the beginning, the middle of the old years a number of the abandoned buildings was reconstructed or constructed new. Generally it is shopping centers and elite housing. There was a large number of supermarkets and supermarkets. However, the general economic decline in Russia of the 1998 years has a considerable impact and on a situation in Viborg. A city touch on such nationwide issues as decrease in the standard of living of the population, rise in crime, municipal problems. The decay of the building became one of the collapse reasons on October 9. 2006 of a house on Jelaznodoraznaya Street, 11 under which fragments which seven people died. In 2007 following the results of the All-Russian competition, the most well-planned city of Russia, Vyborg took the second place among the cities with the population to 100,000 inhabitants. On August 1, 2009, Viborg became the center of the holiday devoted to the 82nd anniversary of formation of the Leningrad region. March 25, 2010, the decree of the President of the Russian Federation, the Dry Medvedev to Viborg, gave an honorary title of the Russian Federation, the City of Military Glory. On June 19, 2010, the monument to Fyodor Apraksin was placed into Petrovskaya Square. In May 2013, in the city opened the repaired fountain with a bear sculpture opposite to Pyat and Pavel's Cathedral. In April 2013, the historical quarter of buildings was demolished. About it on May 11, the meeting for preservation of objects of cultural heritage was held. Viborg is located in the west of the Karelian Isthmus in 174 km from Street. 
Petersburg in 3050 came to the east from border with Finland. Geographical coordinates 60 AE and 28 AE GAOL The maximum height above sea level minus 51 M The territory of the city minus 160 847 came 112.27 came within the bypass road. Settlement extent from the southeast on the northwest about 16 came, from the southwest on the northeast about 10 came. From the southwest the city is washed by waters of the Viborg Gulf and from the north the protective bay. In the territory of Asari, city of Viborg, there are about 54 nominated islands, the largest of which, Tverdish, Guards, Chukasovsky, Squirrel, and up to 36 nominated water objects. Coast of bays and gulfs are cut up by Shur, small rocky islands and Polustrovka. Viborg, as well as all Leningrad region, is located in the Moscow time zone. Meskslashms The city is located in the territory of the Vyborg Lowland. The relief crossed average height above sea level raises to the north, the highest point. 51 M. Is located in the Scandinavian residential district. In the central part of the city the highest place, the Battery Mountain. 33 M. Vyborg is in borders of Baltic Shield where it is close to a surface there are crystal breeds of the early Proterozoic period, mainly Granitropikili. Therefore moraines have less sharp outlines here. At top radical breeds are naked, and on the lower, more gentle slopes are covered with a sandy and sandy moraine with gravel, crushed stone and boulders. They are covered with lake and lake and alluvial deposits of the Quaternary period. Characteristic glacial forms of a relief are mutton foreheads. The coast of the Gulf of Finland of Sherny type which is strongly cut up with a set of rocky islands and passages between them. Along the coast the sandy terraces too, 5 meters high limited to high ledges were stretched. Near the city there are fields of a facing stone. Climate of the city sea with transition to continental. The winter is moderately soft, some are moderately warm that for such geographic latitude is explained by influence of Gulf Stream. At the same time the maximum temperature registered in Viborg is plus 34.6 C and minimum minus 36. 8 degrees of a frost. Climate of Viborg colder than climate of street. Petersburg located on more low latitude and the coldest month February. Average annual temperature is plus 4.8 C. Plus 5.8 C in street. Petersburg. Rainfall in Viborg drops out a little more than in street. Petersburg. More rainfall drops out in the summer, in the fall and in the winter, it is significantly less in the spring. An annual amount of precipitation minus 677 during the winter period drop out mainly in the form of snow and a rain. Average annual relative air humidity minus 80%. Southwest winds prevail. Average annual speed of wind minus 3.4 m slash s. In the spring and in the summer the phenomenon of the white nights is observed at the maximum longitude of day in 19 h 10 min. And minimum minus 5 h of 38 min. Old. A sunshine number of hours minus 15.30 a year. 
The day insulation on a horizontal surface averages 2.79 U/m. Soils in the territory of the city mainly podsolic, poor in humus and differing in considerable acidity. The main Pokhubras Wushi breeds are the sands and sandy loams spread by loams and clays. The quantity of stones, more than 500 m slash hectare, is high. Average annual temperature of the earth is plus 3.8 C. Agricultural use of soils demands artificial improvement. In the city there are a lot of planted trees and shrubs territories. The total area of city parks and squares is more than 432,000 m. In the downtown mainly deciduous breeds of trees grow, and on the outskirts radical fir and pine forests remained. Besides usual city fauna, verbiath, pigeons, crows, seagulls, ducks living in city reservoirs on the woody outskirts of Viborg, it is possible to meet animals and the birds ordinary through the woods of the Karelian Isthmus. Hares, protein, elks, boars, foxes, lynxes, muskrats, otters, minks. In the Viborg forests, it is possible to meet one of the most unusual representatives of fauna, a glutton. Feature of fauna of the Karelian Isthmus is presence of the Canadian beavers. In water areas of the city the species of fish characteristic in general of this part of the Gulf of Finland meet. Pike perch, pike perch, bream, small fry, rudd and others. Ecological situation. In the city the increased level of pollution of atmospheric air is observed. Excesses of maximum allowable concentration were noted four times. The main sources of pollution of atmospheric air are power complexes and motor transport. Level of pollution of soils is high. In a zone of the industrial enterprises it approaches extremely dangerous. Content of heavy metals, especially lead and zinc is high. The city is in the territory with the increased concentration of radon. In cellars of some buildings the radiation background exceeds PDD. After assignment in 1403 of the status of the city of Viborg develops as large shopping center. In the city the number of rich immigrants from Lübeck, Hamburg, Bremen and other Hanseatic cities increases. Under the influence of this fact since the 16th century in life of citizens the German customs remaining to the middle of the 19th century though Germans weren't the most numerous diaspora of the city began to prevail. For example, in 1812 28 93 persons lived in Viborg. There were 362 Germans, generally merchants, Swedes minus 412, Russians minus 846, Finns minus 1273. Since capture of Viborg by the Russian troops a considerable part of the population of the city was made by military garrison. More than 8% in 1870. By the end of the 19th century the vast majority of urban population was made by Finns, however in the city the highest concentration of Russians in pre-revolutionary Finland was observed. In 1939 Viborg was the second in population city in Finland. 74.4 thousand inhabitants. During the Soviet Finnish War in 1939 1940, the population of the city was in full strength evacuated to the central regions of Finland. East part of the Finnish Karelia, together with Viborg, passed to the Usser and Bees, and Usser was populated with families from Rusfos. In 1941, after approach of the Finnish army, Viborg appeared under jurisdiction of Finland again, and the Soviet immigrants were evacuated to Leningrad. 
a part of the evacuated Finnish inhabitants, however their plans for restoration of the city as a part of Finland comes back to Vyborg and remain unrealized. In 1944, after offensive operation on the Karelian Isthmus, Vyborg was occupied again by the Soviet troops, and his new settling began. The demographic situation is characterized by natural losses of the population. In 2011, 755 people were born and died minus 1184. However, at the same time, migration gain is observed. Arrived in the city of 1235 people, left the city of 607 people. Economically active population makes 42600 people. Unemployment rate is 0.28%. Excessive number of vacancies over number of the unemployed takes place. Age structure of the population. 2011. Children up to 18 years minus 17.4%. Economically active population minus 54.4%. The unemployed population minus 1.2%. Pensioners minus 27. 0%. Sex composition of the population. 2002. Men minus 46.1%. Women minus 53.9%. With receiving the rights of the city in 1403, Vyborg received also the first city press. On it, letter W under three crowns. The public coat of arms was represented. On the press of 1448 of a letter and a crown are already carried in different parts of a board. After the occupation, the Russian troops in 1710 tried to appropriate to Vyborg the new coat of arms in the form of the elephant going to the right. From the viewer to the left. However, attempts weren't crowned with success, and as a result the old Swedish coat of arms was left to the city. The official coat of arms of Vyborg is approved by Catherine II on October 4, 1788. The board is divided into two parts. In top in the red field three gold crowns, and lower in the blue field gold letter W. Over a board two angels. In 1812 the coat of arms of Vyborg is decided to be made the coat of arms of the Vyborg province. In this regard the new city coat of arms was developed. On October 2, 1817 the emperor approved such coat of arms for Vyborg. In the blue field two tower Vyborg castle, on her right bigger tower a flag staff and a flag over fortress gold letter W. Over a board a stone crown. In Soviet period the project of the coat of arms of Vyborg was made. In the center of composition the port crane. Badges with such coat of arms were issued, but officially it wasn't approved. Decisions of the city authorities of November 28, 1994 and restored on March 28, 2006 the historical coat of arms of Vyborg. The city also has the flag representing a rectangular panel with a ratio of the parties to 3, the duplicating image of the coat of arms. The flag of Vyborg is approved on March 28, 2006, along with a municipal coat of arms. 
Quite often in various spheres also informal symbols of the city are used. Most often it is various images of Viborg Castle, in particular St. Olaf's Towers. There are two symbols of the city also the Viborg Pretzel from which Viborg got the nickname Krendelny City. He is represented on an emblem of association of natives of Viborg in Finland. Often as a symbol of the city use letter W, unlike the coat of arms, without other details. Such a symbol, at the end of 2006 was placed into the square in front of the railway station. Also it is possible to carry the Viking ships used when shooting us. Rostotsky to informal symbols and on stones trees in 2009 were replaced with modern copies. A sculpture elk round an hour towers grow. Viborg is the municipal unit as a part of Viborgsky district of the Leningrad region. His official name, the municipal unit, city of Viborg, of Viborgsky district of the Leningrad region, the reduced name, Isari, city of Viborg. The local government is carried out on the basis of the charter which was adopted by the decision of Council of Deputies of Viborg of June 16, 2010 -0. 63. Representative body of local government is the Council of Deputies. It consists of 20 deputies elected on municipal elections on single candidate constituencies for a period of five years. By results of elections on October 11, 2009, all 20 places were taken by party members United Russia. The Council of Deputies is headed by the head of the municipality elected by deputies from the structure also for a period of five years. Since October 20, 2009 was Gennady Alexievich Orlov. Since September 2014, the position of the head of Asari, Vyborgsky district of the Leningrad region is held by Alexander Petrovich Lysov. Also since September 2014, Gennady Alexievich Orlov entered a position of the head of administration of the municipal unit, Vyborgsky district of the Leningrad region. Executive local government is the administration. It is formed and headed by the head of administration who is appointed under the contract signed by results of a competition for a period of five years. Since August 2, 2011 and was Alexander Alexandrovich Bayanov. On September 24, 2014, the post of the head of Asari, city of Viborg, was held by Alexander Petrovich Lysov. His nomination was supported unanimously. Kuzel, one of the oldest industrial regions of Viborg in the 1930th years. Based in the mouth of one of sleeves of Waxa, Viborg from the very beginning developed as the trade settlement. In the city sea trade prospered, through Viborg a considerable part of goods of the Russian state was exported to neighboring countries. The Viborg industrial enterprises represented, generally craft workshops or small institutions of manufactory type. Developed potters, joiners, jewelry and other crafts. Development of transport at the end of the 18th century contributes to the fast development of the industrial enterprises. In the 1930th years Viborg reckoned with the adjacent territory as the center of the industry of Finland. In 1938-38 industrial enterprises of various industries worked in the city. During World War II to the enterprises of the city I was significant damage. Many of them weren't restored. 
the enterprises of absolutely new industries open. Instrument making, production of electric tools and baby carriages. Considerable part of them stopped the activity with the collapse of the Usser. At the turn of the 20, 21 centuries in Viborg there are new enterprises, many of them with foreign investments. Now Viborg is the large industrial center of the Leningrad region. In the city several large enterprises are located. The role of small business in which sphere 47% of economically active population are engaged is big. Economically active population minus 42.6 thousand people. 55% of all population. The average monthly salary in 2009 was 20,431.7 rubles. Mostly salary in the sphere of production of non-metallic mineral products. 29016 rubles is high. For October 1, 2008 in the city there were 6240 small business enterprises, main types of his activity are trade, services and operations with the real estate and the sphere of rendering transport services and communications. In 2007 by the enterprises of the city it is shipped goods of own production, executed works and it is rendered services on 19903 million rubles that is 21% more than in 2006. The basis of the economy of the city is the industry, 35% of all ship products. Nearly 7 billion rubles fall to her share. Investment investments in the industry made 191 million rubles. The average salary at the enterprises of the industrial sector of economy for 2008 was 21,234.2 rubles. The highest salary in the sphere of production of construction materials. On average 32147 rubles. The largest enterprises of the city are. This Viborg shipyard specializes in construction of sea platforms for development of shelf stocks, vessels of the small and average tonnage. NL Skornoi Aprovolnai Management Company on Renaissance, Extraction and Production of Granite Products. Tisk Vyborgskoi Kari Pravelnai specializes in production of inert construction materials. NL Vyborg Port specializes generally in Nakatni freights. NL Srockwell North production of insulating materials. And else how comma forced vipuri production of refrigerators. Zest pier plant production of rollers, a roller cooper, trums for tape conveyors. Zest xara processing of tonkalisni metal. And else planeta echo the systems of gas purification and dust removal, industrial vacuum cleaners. Kisk Instrument Maker. Kisk Trotho Production of Transformers, Throttles, Noise Suppressing Filters, Plates, Cables and Power Supplies. Kisk Finsker Production of Auto Parts. And else Vyborgsky Libo Combinat. And else Verisk Wafer Products. Anels Maleta is a part of Anels Natsainalni Vini Terminal. Tesco Trans Meat Products. Anels Technonical Viborg Bituminous and Polymeric Materials. Anels Viborg Plant of Construction Materials. Jesk Viborg Window Plant Production of Metal Plastic Windows on the Basis of Shipbuilding Plant.
Nord Stream Gas Pipeline. The Nord Stream Gas Pipeline. A new route of export of the Russian gas to Europe connects the Baltic coast of Russia near Vyborg to the Baltic coast of Germany near Greifswald. Extent of the gas pipeline is 1224 km. The Portavia compressor station provides transportation of gas through the Nord Stream gas pipeline. It is a unique object of world gas industry on the total power. 366 million. Operating pressure. 220 atm. Gas transportation distance. More than 1200 km. And also daily volume of an Osushka of gas. 170 molnem. The first and second turns of her construction are entered in 2011-2012. An essential role in city economy is played by the travel business connected with reception of guests from Russia and foreign countries and the economic activity connected with it in services industry. So, in 1998, Vyborgsky district was visited by about 700,000 tourists. The most visited tourist object traditionally is Vyborg Castle. More than 243,000 visits in 2009. In the city 18 enterprises of hotel complex work. 15 hotels, 2 hostels and 1 motel. In 2008 more than 70,000 tourists were accepted them. The largest hotels, Friendship, Victoria and Vyborg. In the city the services are provided by 21 travel agencies. Trade and Household Services. For January 1, 2010 in Vyborg Works. 1299 objects of retail trade including. One hypermarket. One supermarket. Eight supermarkets. 559 shops. 15 gas stations. 33 pharmaceutical points. 267 catering establishments, including. Shopping center Alice. 14 restaurants. 102 cafes. 22 bars. 26 dining rooms, 460 public service establishments, including 124 hairdressing salons, 77 enterprises for repair of vehicles, 36 parkings, 2 laundries, 14 baths and saunas. In the city shops of the all-Russian retail chain stores are located. Roundabout, Pyotoraka, Sevenia Family, Polushka, Tixi, Vimos, Metrix, Petrovich, Positronica, Eldorado, Euroset, Svizno, 585, Rivgoj, Expert. Many outlets are concentrated in 11 shopping centers. Two markets work. Central and Southern. Retail trade turnover of large and medium-sized enterprises in 2007 was 2,112.1 million rubles. Construction In 2009 in the territory of the city, three apartment houses and 50 individual houses with a total area of 33.5 thousand m are put into operation. 323 apartments are put into operation. Proceed construction of six objects of housing construction. 66.1 thousand M, 883 apartments. Design and exploration work on eight objects is conducted. The site for construction of the new residential area in the southeast of the city is allocated. 
Despite crisis, design and construction of new objects of social and municipal infrastructure continues. Housing and communal services The chief supplier of heat and hot water for the population and the enterprises is Sarri, city of Viborg, is just Viber to Plotergo. The system of heat supply includes 20 boiler houses. Five gas, six black oil, six coal, two diesel, one electric. Total length of heating mains is 73.52 km. The prevailing type of fuel of boiler houses is natural gas. The open water intake from the Lake Krasnokomsky and also from Wells to Heritonovsky and Kalinin residential districts is the main source of water supply of the city. The actual consumption of cold water is 3600, 3800 m days. Extent of a water supply system is 166. 6 game. The water disposal system in the city, generally all floatable. Extent of sewer networks is 210.4 km. The sewer treatment facilities of Viborg located on departure from the city on Balashovskoy Highway work according to the scheme of full biological cleaning. Provision of services of water consumption and water disposal in the territory of the city is provided to Jest Viborg Vodokanal. The main centers of power supply of the city are five substations. Viborg Southern, Viborg Regional, Viborg City, Hallinan, Building Birth. Extent of the city feeding and distribution networks is 354.2 km. The main enterprise is providing services of power supply Los branch of Chesk, the Viborg City Electrical Networks, and Leninergo, the Viborg Electrical Networks. Gas supply of the city is carried out due to intake of natural gas on the main gas pipeline and transgas. Extent of the external gas pipeline in the territory of the city minus 130.3 km. The general level of gasification is 93%, including with natural gas minus 55%, with liquefied gas minus 38%. The serving organization in the field of gasification is the Lenabogaz branch, Vibrant Maragas. As of January 1, 2010 housing stock of the city makes 993 apartment houses from which 82.7% are operated by Jest Management Company on Housing and Public Utilities and NLS Rostic Vibord Minus Premises. And also 1067 individual houses. Security with living space counting on one person on the city makes 21 M. In 2009 financing of works on improvement of the territory of the city made 87547. 7000 rubles. An operator of a fixed communication is Jess Cross Telecom. Code of Viborg. Plus 781378, landline numbers, 5 digit. Mobile service is provided by Megafon, Mints, Beelin, Tele, Rostelecom and Yota. Nine offices of Russian Post work in the city. Zip codes of Viborg. 188,800, 188,811. City budget. In 2009 budget revenues were 818.63 million rubles. The greatest share of receipts was made by gratuitous receipts. 34. 76%. And also income from use of municipal property. 
24.36%. And taxes on the income of natural persons, 15.49%. Budget expenses the same year made 786.67 million rubles. Most of all means were spent for housing and communal services. 51.5%. And also for culture and Massachusetts media. 15.1%. Viborg, the important transport hub of the Leningrad region. Here the large passenger and freight railway station is located. Construction of the railroad Rikimyaki Street. Petersburg which passed through Viborg was completed in 1870. In 1888-1892 the railroad viborg Jonsu was constructed. In the 1928 years the railroad viborg Terioki through Koivisto present Primorsk was constructed. In the 1938 years the railroad Viborg to the reception, the present settlement of Sosnovo was built. The Viborg became one of the most important railway junctions of Finland. After accession to the Asser, 1940, repeatedly minus 1944. The nodal value of Viborg sharply decreased. The movement along some roads. Viborg, Jonsu, was sharply reduced other lines. Viborg to the reception. Were dismantled by the most part. In 1969 electrification of the site Leningrad, Viborg was completed, on November 6 from there to Leningrad there went the last locomotive. In 1977 the electrified line to the west from Viborg reached border with Finland. From the station Viborg local trains in four directions, including the express trains, Swallow, go to Street. Petersburg and also high-speed electric trains of Allegro Street. Petersburg, Helsinki and the train Moscow, Helsinki stop. Within the city there are three more passenger railway stations. Suburban Timisu, Verkhenchikasovo partially. And five stopping points. Lazarevka, the 134th came, the 2nd came, the 5th came, Kirkuzio and also two cargo railway stations. Viborg transfer, Viborg export. The maximum number of couples of trains between Viborg and Street. Petersburg according to the summer schedule of 2011-15, from which three electric trains expresses. Fare on an electric train and an electric train express minus 170 rubles. Electric trains go also in the direction Viborg Buslovskia. The station on border with Finland. From Street. Petersburg and Selenogorsk through Primorsk ply the diesel train pond also in the direction Viborg Hitola. Through Kamenigorsk. Earlier local trains on diesel draft. Still earlier the diesel train D. In the direction Viborg, Alisanvara, Viborg, Svetogorsk. Both are through Kamenigorsk. Viborg, Zelenogorsk. With continuation to Street. Petersburg. Viborg, Vysotsk and Viborg, Shikov applied. From Viborg towards Kamenogust, two trains linked among themselves of one, two cars every one which in Kamenogust were uncoupled went, one followed on Ellis and Vara, another to Svetogorsk. Water transport. The Viborg trade port specializes, generally in bulk and general cargoes. 
Goods turnover of port in 2009 made 1,184.4 thousand tons that there is slightly lower than the level of previous year. In 2011 was planned to begin works on conversion of port under service of passengers. Through Viboard there will be able to pass the vessels going to Street. Petersburg. The passenger marina is a part of port. In May, September, the cruise message with Finland is supported. The Karelia ship makes cruises across Seima Canal in the Lapin Ranta, Viborg, Lapin Ranta direction. The trip in one direction is possible. As Karelia is considered the cruise vessel, for citizens of any country of the world, the Russian visa isn't required. One more motor ship, the motor ship Pilgrim, flies from the boat station to Seymour Canal. In Viborg yacht infrastructure is developed. Now in the city several moorings for yachts and boats function. Guest is at the lock in a historical part of the city. The favorite yacht club with the operating sailing school protected by the winter parking and pontoons for summer is located the Bean Cape. Other yacht club Lavola is located in the Seymour residential district. On the bank of Seymour Canal there are pontoon moorings with infrastructure for the parking of boats. Motor transport. Through the city there passes Federally Highway. Part E18, Scandinavia, Street, Petersburg, Viborg border with Finland, and also highways of local value 41A-082, Zelenogorsk, Primorsk, Viborg, and 41K-207 adjoin, Viborg, Smirnovo. Taxi transportations carry out 16 enterprises. Wyboard bus. Bus of the first route. The big and constantly increasing flow of passengers is the share of bus transport. In Viborg 12 city bus routes work. In 2009 they transported nearly 2. 7 million people. The passenger turnover made about 8.5 million a came. Suburban and intercity buses go from the Viborg bus station across all Viborgsky district to Street. Petersburg. There are several transit routes to Finland. Bus is the message Viborg Street. Petersburg come to Parnas bus station at the metro station of the same name and to northern bus station. Devyakino metro station. Fare is 270 rubles. Also bus traffic to the Priyazarsk district of the Leningrad region is supported. Priyazarsk, Sosnovo. Tram. On November 11, 1910, the City Council of Freiburg and the German firm Allgemeine Elektrizitätsgesellschaft, the General Electric Company, signed a contract on construction of modern power plant and the tram. Since 1912 in Viborg the tram network which work was interrupted only during military operations in 1940, 1941 and 1944 began to work. After inclusion of Viborg in structure of the USA, the tram continued to work, but in 1957 it is recognized and profitable and is closed. A role in abolition of the tram message in Viborg was played also by the small width of streets in the old town where the tram complicated car traffic. Avtomobilny Trufby Bridge connecting the Kalinin and Heritonovsky residential districts to the rest of the city. 
Since October 15, 2008, the city is divided into 10 residential districts. Kalanin. Kirov Dakas. Kurovsky. Petrovsky. Street. Petersburg. Industrial. Seymour. Scandinavian. Haritanovsky. Central. Medieval part of Vyborg. The old city lies on the small peninsula stretched from the southeast on the northwest between the Vyborg Gulf and the Bay Salakalati. The Big Ladle. Both gulfs are connected among themselves by the surf passage in the middle of which there is a small castle island, with the Vyborg Castle located on them. The territory of the old city, as well as practically all historical urban development to the east of Krapostnoy Bridge, belongs to the central residential district which territory can also be characterized as the peninsula washed by waters of the closed bay, the Vyborg Gulf, the southern and northern harbors, the protective bay and the Bay Rainbow. Except the old city is a part of the central residential district it is possible to allocate two more conditional areas of Lenin. The southern dormitory area to the east of the Battery Mountain and Railway. Papuel. The area to the north from the railway station. To the west from Krepostnoe Bridge, the residential district Petrovsky, including the territory of the island of Tverdish. Conditional areas Vyborg, Northern Petrovsky. Guards. With the conditional area of the same name and a number of small islands is located. Still to the west Haritanovsky and Kalinin residential districts. Being by the northwest coast of the Vyborg Gulf, behind Automobile Trufby Bridge. The former settlements of Kalinin and Haritonovo, respectively, are located. In the northwest of the city residential districts Kurovsky and the Kirov Takas, zones of low building are located. On the northern outskirts, Seymar and Scandinavian, the zones of gardenings adjacent to Seymar Canal. In the east zones of prospective building industrial, along the railroad to street. Petersburg in the industrial residential district where the industrial zone is already created and a multi-storied vein in street Petersburg where the residential area should be created according to the general plan are located in Vyborg there are more than 800 streets and 11 areas Plevnaya City Street is Lenin Avenue and the main thoroughfare Leningradsko Highway Sites Wyborg Castle St. Olaf's Tower Fortification Based as military strengthening, the most part of the history of Wyborg was fortress, and the well-being of residents of Wyborg was based upon inaccessibility of his walls. It is no wonder that the main and brightest sites of the city are connected with fortification. Main of them, Vyborg Castle, the real symbol of the city, and throughout centuries, the center of gravity of city life. The beginning of construction on the small Volovy Island. Nowadays, the Castle Island. In the surf passage, the Swedish Knights in 1293 of the lot consisting of the powerful quadrangular tower surrounded with fortifications with embrasures marked the basis of Vyborg. It is the only completely remained monument of the Western European medieval military architecture in Russia. 
A dominant of the Lokanol city is St. Olaf's Tower, one of the highest in Scandinavia, its height minus 48.6 meters. The expanding city demanded protection, and in the second half of the 15th century on the peninsula, next to the lock, the Viborg castle subsequently completed at the end of the 16th century was erected. Then fortress began to be called horn because of the form. So far only three of her elements, a bastion of Pantsolex, the round tower and a tower of the town hall remained. At the Empress Anna Yonovna, after transition of the city under the power of Russia, for defense of the city the northwest direction became key, it was strengthened by an Ensky construction of strengthenings. These strengthenings were never used during fighting and well remain so far. By the 19th century the main danger to Vyborg began to proceed from the sea, and for protection against a sea landing from the east the east Vyborg strengthenings, also almost without destructions reached our time were constructed. Now the battery mountain on which their central positions are located is turned into city recreation park. From west side, on islands guards and Ferdish, three artillery batteries which so far remained only partially were built. Fortification strengthenings of the latest time also didn't avoid Viborg. In 1914 construction of new, lucky Viborg castle begins. The project was interrupted in 1917, from west side of the city, around the peninsula of Hitalini by then. The Kalinin and Seymar residential districts. It was constructed western Thetis, Pon, consisting of a half ring of strengthenings with several basic forts and also several concrete powder cellars on both sides of the guard's passage. Strengthenings, mostly, remained. Architecture It is the architectural appearance of a historical part of Viborg which developed for more than seven centuries under the influence of several national cultures is presented by architectural monuments of various eras, from ancient constructions of dams of the Middle Ages to buildings of the end of 20, the beginning of the 21st century. Besides the lock, two towers and one bastion of the former Viborg Castle, clock tower and two half-ruined medieval temples, in Viborg seven more buildings of the Swedish period. Till the 18th century. The house on the rock, the house of the merchant Vekrat and the house of the rich citizen. The Episcopal House. On Podgornia Street, Hyacinth's Church on Vodno Zastavi Street. The house of the citizen in the depth of the yard of Krepostnoy Street and also two medieval. Gildiski. Of the house on Vyborgskaya Street remained. Almost all these buildings are built before images of the first city master plan in 1639 and differ in the fact that are located at an angle to a modern grid of streets. After arrival in 1710 to the city of the Russian garrison in Viborg defensive works and military barracks are under construction. In the second half of the 18th century buildings of civil appointment are built, then there is an architectural complex of cathedral square in style of classicism. Platon, Pavel's cathedrals and space of Priobrazensky, the palace of the deputy and the building of the imperial Gothric and also Gostany Dvor and a new city town hall which didn't remain till our time are built. In the second half of the 19th century Viborg is built up in the eclectic direction. The modern view of Stero Ratushi Square. B. Blomquist K. E. Dipple is formed, the set of public institutions near the intersection of modern Kripostnaya Street and Leningradsky Avenue is under construction. 
building of provincial board, several educational institutions, post office. In 1893 on K. E. Temples project in Neo-Gothic style, the largest temple of the city, the new cathedral is built. His spike 75 meters high became the most important dominant of the city. At the beginning of the 20th century, the eclecticism is succeeded by national romanticism. Then the majority of the buildings which are now architectural city monuments was created. The greatest contribution to formation of architectural appearance of Viborg was made by local architects, U. Albert A. Schulman P. Utila and A. Vjulden. Several interesting buildings were built on projects of status architects from Helsinki, E. Serena and A. Lindgren K. Segerstedt U. Neustrium and others. The major remained constructions of the time. The building of Hackman and Olorado. The Granite Palace. And the House of Govinga in the Old City, the House Piatina and Vokalnea Square, the building of Hyakli, Lalaka and Olorado the house of the merchant Moskvin at Red Square, buying buildings at the beginning of Lenin Avenue. In the 1938 years the functionalism had a new impact on city architecture. Besides residential and commercial buildings in this style, public institutions were constructed. At school with the museum, district archive and a pawn shop, all on you. Alberg's projects. The most important monument of an era of functionalism in Vyborg is the city library constructed in 1935 on the project of the world famous architect A. Otto. As a result of military operations near the city in 1939-1944, the majority of buildings seriously was damaged, some were destroyed almost completely. The old railway station. Now city visitors are welcomed by the station of post-war construction in style of a Stalin Empire style. City theater, the building of telephone exchange. Almost completely wooden building of Viborg burned down, pre-war wooden houses remained, generally in the western suburbs. Nevertheless, after war the most part of stone buildings in the downtown was restored though sometimes and with deviations from initial shape. The new cathedral which sustained damage was finally sorted in 1953. Further Vyborg, as well as all Soviet cities, was in large quantities built up with standard panel houses which greatest number appeared in the settlement of Lenin. The modern southern conditional area. On the place of the destroyed wooden building. In the central park construction from 1978 years was conducted, mainly on individual projects. The current state of a number of historical buildings in the center of Viborg caused concerns, without due leaving they collapsed. Within the program of capital repairs implemented since 2018 as of November 2020 in a historical part of Viborg 12 monuments of cultural heritage of regional and federal importance are restored. Works on restoration of significant city facilities are continued. On the outskirts of the city it is possible to meet the remains of farmstead building of the Finnish time, the most known of which are the remains of the estate Suomarioki in the Heritonovsky residential district.
the monument to the founder of the city placed in 1908 into the square of the old town hall, two portals concerned became the first monument of Vyborg. After installation in 1910 from the opposite side of the surf passage of a monument to Peter the Great there was an original architectural and sculptural composition. These are figures are crossed on their Apple of Discord, Viborg Castle. Both monuments in the course of the history were dismantled, most of all the monument to Peter I which is twice dumped from a pedestal during World War II in this regard suffered. The Russia's first monument to the General Admiral Apraxin placed into Petrovskaya Square was added to the formed composition in 2010. On the main square of the city, read in 1957 the monument to 5.1. Lenin is established. In Soviet period in city parks and squares monuments to M. 1. Kalinin M. Borky N. G. Markin also appeared. Some time in the city park was stayed also by a monument to a 5. Stalin, however, after the 20 Congress of the Sisu, he was, along with a set of similar monuments across all Usar, is dismantled. From a city landscape gardening sculpture, sculptures are most known. The elk and the forest young man established in the park esplanade, statues, industry and sea trade, and also a sculpture of Minrepo's Park. The monument to Vyana Maronin lost in the years of war and restored in 2007, a column to two emperors. Paul I and Alexander I. And the noblest to Broglio's brothers. In the city there is a sculpture garden in which about 10 works of participants of the Viborg Sculptural Symposium of 1988 are presented. In Viborg and on its outskirts there are a lot of military memorials of various eras. A monument to the Russian soldiers who died at a siege of Viborg in 1710 not remain monument on brotherly burial of white fins established in 1921 near the new cathedral and lost in war, and a monument to their rivals, to Red Guards, established in 1961 on the fourth kilometer of Leningradskoy Highway. A memorial to the residents of Viborg who died in Afghanistan and Chechnya. Especially there are a lot of monuments devoted to the victims of the Soviet Finnish wars. The memorial complex is devoted to the Soviet soldiers on entry into the city on Leningradskoy Highway and at the Southern Cemetery and also several monuments in the central part of the city established at the expense of the Finnish side. On June 27, 2009 on Theatre Square, near Pyatt and Pavel's Lutheran Cathedral, the restored monument to the humanist and founder of the Finnish writing Mikhail Agricola established in 1908 at an entrance to the new cathedral and lost in 1939-1941 was opened. At Viborg Skipolkov Square works on a construction of a memorable steel, the City of the Military Glory, which is solemnly opened in 2011 on the place of the dismantled monument to M. 1. Kalinin which was suggested to be transferred to the Kalinin Residential District however began fall of 2010 transferred to fixed assets of the City Museum and transferred to Lenin's House Museum. At the building of management of the border service of the Russian Federation in 2015, the monument to Frontier Guards of the Viborg Boundaries is established. Besides, in 2018, the monument to the Viborg Tram is placed into Theatre Square. Parks In the city, there are a lot of planted trees and shrubs territories. 
The total area of city parks and squares is more than 432,000 m. Among the Vyborg parks the central position is held by Lenin's Park better known as the Park Esplanade. Or simply, the Esplanade. Broken along Lenin Avenue on the place of the shaft of Vyborg Castle demolished in the middle of the 19th century. The park is also obliged to this circumstance by the unofficial name, a word the Esplanade means the space before fortress exempted from buildings that is, a predpolia. At breakdown of the park more than 200 breeds of trees among which there are a white willow, a larch, and a murkort tree were put. During creation of landscapes the form of crona and shades of foliage were considered. The park stretches from the Market Square in the west to Suvorovsky Avenue in the east of and from Lenin Avenue to Kripostnaya Street in the south in the north. There are several sculptures and fountains attractions. Central Park of Culture and Leisure was stretched on the Battery Mountain. The park is arranged well by walking paths, in it there are attractions and also the remained parts of the East Viborg strengthenings. It was open after World War II, before on the Battery Mountain the Finnish military warehouses were located. The park divides two most inhabited districts of Viborg, the downtown and the dormitory area of Lenin better known as Yushni. The biggest and known park of Viborg Manrepos Park on the island of Tverdish. The near part of the park is arranged well for walks and rest, and distant represents almost primitive Karelian wood. Earlier Manrepos Park. Place of my privacy was considered as one of the most beautiful parks of Europe and Nicolae was more than two centuries the property of barons. The building of the park estate remained, however it is in an unsatisfactory state, restoration works are conducted. The special picturesis to the park is given by a rocky landscape, typical for these places, and generating feeling of melancholy, separated from the coast's small, Protohich, Island of the Dead. Liadstein. Also on association with the known picture of Bioclin. On this island the devastated and profaned crypts of family members Nicolae are located. At top of the island there is a decorative construction which architecture reminds forms of the English Gothic style. In a distant part of the park almost steep rock used in days of the tourist boom preceding reorganization for trainings of rock climbers and climbers for improvement of the equipment and also competitions is located. From the rock the view of the protective bay and the epic island on which before it was possible to get on the bridge opens. Among other parks, Petrovsky, Popolsky and also, the Square of Courage, with a memorial to the soldiers who died in Afghanistan and Chechnya. Culture Throughout all the history Vyborg had the status of the cultural center of the region surrounding him. In the city the theatre develops, there takes place the cinema festival, open the doors for residents of Viborg and city visitors the numerous museums. In the Viborg Palace of Culture circles and sections of various direction work. Theatre Viborg has long theatrical traditions, at the end of the 18th century in it the wooden building of theatre, and the first stone city theatre, in 1832 on the project of the architect A. Branched it at the intersection of modern streets theatrical and the water was built. In 1944 the theatre building strongly was damaged during fights for the city, subsequently is sorted. Only in 1982 the Viborg State Drama Theatre and Dolls which is nowadays carrying the name, Sacred Fortress, the first theatre of the region located in the regional centre was founded. 
Today it is the only professional theater of the Leningrad region. The troupe of theater conducts vigorous tour activity, participates in the international theater festivals. In the city the folk children's musical theater located on Mira Street and also some more national theater companies works. In cinema circles the city first of all is known for a festival of the Russian cinema, Window to Europe, which is held annually in the middle of August. The festival was for the first time held in 1992, the president, the famous Russian film expert and the film critic Armin Medvedev. Competitive displays take place in the Vyborg Oriental Carpet Movie Theater opened in 1962 in the restored building of the former city town hall. Today it is the only movie theater working in the city. In 1969, for example, in Vyborg seven movie theaters worked, however over time almost all of them were closed. Festivals Besides an annual cinema review in the city also regularly there take place festivals of the most various orientation. Mitri, the folklore festival which is taking place at the end of May in the Vyborg Castle. The Vyborg Thunder, the festival of reenactors which is taking place at the end of July in the territory of Anensky of Strengthenings. Midsummer, the Celtic Musical Festival which is taking place at the end of June in Monrepos Park. Tour at Summer, a festival of acoustic music in Monrepos Park. Serenades of Vyborg Castle, the festival of jazz music which is taking place in the Vyborg Castle. And also set of other festivals. On August 19, the City Day. Festive events are held on the Saturday, next to this date. Is celebrated. Museums, cultural centers. Museum Center, Hermitage, Vyborg. State Museum, Vyborg Castle. State Historical and Architectural Natural Memorial Estate, Monrepos Park. Five. One. Lennon's House Museum located in the house where that lived during preparation of the October Revolt. Exhibition Center Hermitage Vyborg. Art Hall Gallery. Military Museum of the Karelian Isthmus. Archaeology Exhibition in Panzerlaxa. House of Creativity Heather Estate. Seaside Museum of Local Lore. Showroom, Vyborg, the city of military glory. Vyborg in art. In the city such films were shot as Dartagnan and Three Musketeers. And on stones grow trees, hard to be a god, lock, return, shadow fighting, Italian, admiral, Taras Bulba, singing teacher, inquisitor, role and others. For all history in Vyborg more than 100 films were shot. The city appears in literary works by writers M. Porky O. Mandelstam. Poems by poets A. Akhmatova and N. Buchan are devoted to Vyborg. Manrepo's Park in painting and graphics was represented in the works by artists I. Yao. Metanlita, Victor Svetikin, Christian Jensen, Victoria Oberg, Bartholomew Lovren, Christian Ferdinand Christensen, Louis Julian Chicot, Valerian Langer. The image of Vyborg, and in particular Vyborg Castle, it is possible to see on the card of the Polish artist and cartographer Anton. Antonia. Wider. During the Vyborg period, the artist N. K. Rurik painted the pictures Fall and Vyborg Castle, Repentance, Call of a Bell. Old Scuff, Sons of the Sky, Heat of the Earth, Fall, Vyborg, Outcast, Treasure, and others. 
In the city several local newspapers are issued. Municipal newspaper, Viborg, Rick Visit, Viborg newspaper of free announcements, Verney Rishenia magazine. In the sphere of television media group, Our City, which creates the information programs appearing in a grid of regional broadcasting of the federal channel CNT Works. In total in Viborg six federal channels are relayed. Besides CNT also the Channel 1, Russia 1, the Match of TV, NTV and Channel 5 work. The Cable Television works. In Viborg two multiplexes of digital broadcasting of DVFT from Pap Pierre also available already. 20 channels in North Dakota quality and 3 radio stations. Power of transmitters 1 and 2, multiplexes minus 3.2 due. Height of an antenna and mass tower minus 185 m. Religion. Transfiguration Cathedral. The basis of Viborg during a crusade from the very beginning defined his role of the large religious center. By 2008 in the city 47 religious faiths were registered. The operating cult constructions of Viborg. Transfiguration Cathedral, the Orthodox Christian. Cathedral Square. The Sacred and Alliansky Temple, the Orthodox Christian. Anefskaya Street. Church of Saints Peter and Paul, Lutheran. The Theater Square. Seventh-day Adventist Church. Sadovaya Street, 17. Church on the Rock of Evangelical Baptist Christians. Bolshaya Jardiskaya Street, 33. Church Christian Vera Evangelical. Central Nea Street, 11. Church Christian Vera Evangelical. Poporekni Lane. Parish House of Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Mormons. Primorsko Highway. In ruins there is a church of Lutheran rural parish. The former Viboy Cathedral of the Dominican Monastery. At all the church of the Franciscan Monastery existing at the time of the Middle Ages didn't remain. The Viacent Church was located, the Roman Catholic Church which is initially built as the building of nobility assembly, nowadays in the Art Gallery and also to the house of the Swedish German Lutheran parish on Weibolskaya Street in which the branch of Lind Rasdan Prate Institute is nowadays placed as located. A large number of church buildings was destroyed by the Soviet bombings at the time of the soviet Finnish War of 1939-1940 and the Great Patriotic War. So, as a result of bombing the largest temple of Viborg, the new cathedral sorted later in the 1950th years was damaged. The old cathedral built in a stone at the end of the 15th century was the biggest temple of the medieval town. From him only walls and the bell tower, clock tower remained. Also didn't remain. Lutheran Church of St. Michael in Talical. Methodist Church Bethel. Orthodox Churches. The Nikolov Church in Vivi, Church of the Assumption at the Sorvolsky Cemetery, Church of All Saints at the Cemetery Rostimyaki. Hospital Peter and Paul Church, Regimental Church of the Tikvin Icon of the Mother of God on the Daddy and also the Viborg Synagogue. In 
in Viborg there are 20 municipal preschool educational institutions in which for January 1, 2010-3109 children studied. Construction of kindergarten on 220 places is conducted. The turn in kindergartens of the city of children is more senior than one and a half years the 708 man makes. Institutions of the Secondary General Education of Viborg are 11 municipal schools, a city gymnasium and evening school. Also in Viborg there is a School of Arts, Children's and Youth Sports School, the Viborg School of Arts and two houses of children's creativity. The number of students in day educational institutions for January 1, 2010 makes 7338 people. Three secondary vocational education institutions work. Viborg Medical College. Viborg Polytechnical College, Alexandrovsky. Viborg Technical School of Agro-Industrial and Forest Complex. The higher education in the city is presented by branches of four higher education institutions. Viborg Aviation Technical School of Civil Aviation of a name of the Marshal Zavarakov. Branch of Street. Petersburg State University of Civil Aviation. Viborg Institute. Branch. An Institute of Economic Security of the Leningrad State University of A.S. Pushkin. Russian Presidential Academy of National Economy and Public Administration. Russian State Pedagogical University of A. 1. Herzen. And also Center of Education and Additional Education, Knowledge of the Street. Petersburg Institute of Foreign Economic Relations, Economies and Rights and Representative Office of the Street. Petersburg Institute of Economy and Management. In the city, the Central Regional Library Heading Network of 48 libraries located in settlements of Vyborgsky District is located. A monument of architecture and the largest information and educational center of Vyborg is the Central City Library of Alvar Aalto. It has two branches. In conditional areas of Lenin Southern and Northern. Besides, two children's libraries work. Healthcare. In the territory of Viborg, six municipal authorities of healthcare and one regional hospital carry out activity. The Viborg City Polyclinic with branch in the conditional area of Lenin Yushni and outpatient clinic in the conditional area of Viborg. Viborg City Hospital. The Viborg Children's City Hospital. With Polyclinic. Maternity Hospital of Viborg. Dental Polyclinic. Station of Emergency Medical Service of Viborg. Regional Tubercular Hospital. Also the Nodal Hospital and Polyclinic of the Station Viborg of Oktubskaya Railway and Military Hospital with one branch works. As a part of medical institutions of Viborg there are 835 beds. Including 505 in municipal authorities. The power of outpatient and polyclinic institutions is 2395 visits per shift. In a healthcare system of the city, 325 doctors, including 270 in municipal authorities, 812 people of average medical personnel work, including 666 in municipal authorities. Besides network of the public medical institutions, there is a large number of the private enterprises rendering various medical services. 
the network of municipal drugstores and also the drugstores belonging to private owners works in the city. As of January 1, 2010, 33 pharmaceutical paragraphs work. Veterinary services are rendered by several veterinary clinics. In Viborg increase in number of crimes and their solvability is observed. Statistically, every tenth crime is committed in alcohol intoxication. In 1990th and Ord in Viborg crime thrived, organized criminal groups literally divided Viborg. Several attempts of raider captures were recorded. As for the present, only especially serious crimes have negative dynamics. For the last quarter the number of such crimes grew by 34%. From the last incidents by the largest collision of the bus with train in Glebachev is very often on the route, Scandinavia, there are accidents to a lethal outcome therefore she was nicknamed as expensive to death. Athletes at the building of old joint school in pre-revolutionary Viborg. Viborg has rich sports history, the sport began to develop in the city already in the second half of the 19th century, the track and field athletics was especially popular. Then sports meets took place on the military parade ground before Cathedral of Saints Piet and Pavel. On modern theatre square. And since 1895 sports competitions began to be held on the platform limited to modern Suvorovsky Avenue and streets of the surf, Pushkin and Morskaya embankment, which received the name school. The southern part of this platform created in 1903 is used as stadium and until now. The soccer team of Viper and Sudet Club became the champion of Finland of 1940, and the team on Bandy of the same club won the championship of Finland of 14 times. On June 18, 1922 in the area the Papule the first Viborg Stadium which was meeting the most modern requirements for the time, still hosting sports competitions and nowadays carrying the name Lokomotiv was open. At the stadium, the legendary Finnish athlete Pavel Nurmi in run on five miles showed time surpassing the European record. The main stadium of the city many years is the Avangard Stadium located near the Battery Mountain. It is constructed in 1931-1936, was restored after destructions of 1941-1944 and now is the main base of the Viborg Sports Society favorite. At stadium there take place competitions on track and field athletics, the Finnish Laptor, the soccer team, favorite, accepts the rivals in the championship of the Leningrad region here. Construction of new stadium is planned. Also in the city the sailing, cycling, aviomodal sport develops. Avangard Stadium. For 2009 in Viborg there are 97 sports constructions. Four stadiums. Avangard, locomotive, pilot, water transport worker. 28 gyms. 36 plane sports constructions. Swimming pool. Two skiing lodges. Seven shooting shooting galleries. Competitions of the international and all Russian levels are annually held. So in 2009 in Viborg took place. The sixth stage of the International Racing Arc Series, Rally Russia, the third stage of a sports contest of pupils of Russia on boxing, the All-Russian Nightly Fencing Tournament. Among juniors, the All-Russian Marathon Cycle Racing 5. F. Nikiforov's Memorial, and also a large number of sports events of local scale. In 2013 in Viborg played the Baltic Games. 
the track and field athletics Viborg semi-marathon and competitions in eight triathlon of Viborg men is regularly carried up. Well, so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.